The vastness of the cosmos the universe is not fixed or still, it is alive with motion. It is expanding, endlessly stretching the very fabric of space itself in all directions. This expansion is so relentless that it makes it nearly impossible to define an edge, or even calculate its full extent. The more we learn, the more the horizon of mystery seems to retreat from us. Yet today, with powerful tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity can gaze deeper into the cosmos than ever before. Since its launch, scientists, including researchers like Brian Cox, have begun to rethink the very scale of the universe. What we observe is only a fragment, a sliver of something far greater. Perhaps it is finite. Perhaps it is truly infinite. Within the observable universe alone, experts estimate there are around 2 trillion galaxies. That number, enormous as it sounds, only represents what we can currently detect. Beyond the reach of our instruments, the real universe may be stranger, larger, and far more complex than anything we can yet comprehend. As Carl Sagan famously said, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Each new image from the James Webb Space Telescope carries us closer to answering one of humanity's most ancient questions. Just how big is everything? To put this into perspective, let's imagine travel at familiar speeds. Driving around Earth's equator at 70 miles per hour would take just about 15 days. Reaching the moon at that same speed? Roughly 5 months. Mars would take nearly 60 years. And Neptune, the farthest major planet in our solar system, would take more than 4,000 years. Now consider Voyager 1, humanity's farthest and fastest spacecraft. Launched in 1977, it has been traveling at a staggering 38,000 miles per hour. Even at that incredible speed, it still took 35 years just to escape the boundary of our solar system. And yet, in cosmic terms, Voyager is still incredibly close to home. Our solar system itself is but one small corner of the Milky Way galaxy. A vast stellar city containing some 300 billion stars, most of them with planetary systems of their own. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, lies 4.3 light years away. And at Voyager's current speed, it would take around 70,000 years to reach it. Now think about this. The light from Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star roughly 640 light years away, began its journey toward us centuries ago. When we look at it tonight, we are seeing light that set out long before the dawn of modern civilization, before the telescope was even invented. Even our own signals, the radio waves that humans have been transmitting for the past century, have traveled no more than 100 light years in all directions. That's enough to have touched perhaps 15,000 stars. But compared to the scale of the Milky Way, which holds hundreds of billions, it is barely a scratch. To understand just how small we are, imagine shrinking the solar system down to the size of a coin. The Milky Way would then stretch across the size of Earth itself. And beyond it lie trillions of other galaxies, each one an island of suns. Our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away. It contains a trillion stars and is slowly drifting toward us. Billions of years from now, it will merge with the Milky Way, creating a new giant galaxy. Yet the stars are so far apart that almost none of them will collide directly. Zoom out even further, and we find ourselves in the local group, a small cluster of galaxies bound together by gravity. That group is part of the larger Virgo cluster. And the Virgo cluster itself belongs to the Laniakea supercluster, a sprawling continent of galaxies containing over 100,000 members. And still, this is only a tiny fraction of what lies beyond. Astronomers estimate that the observable universe contains around 10 million superclusters. They are not randomly scattered but arranged in a delicate structure known as the cosmic web. Here, vast filaments of galaxies stretch across billions of light years. They gleam like pearls strung on invisible threads of gravity. Between them lie immense cosmic voids, regions where there is almost no matter at all. Silent, empty spaces that may still play a role in shaping the evolution of the universe itself. And surrounding it all is the faintest, oldest light we can detect. The cosmic microwave background radiation, 
an afterglow of the universe's birth nearly 14 billion years ago. It is the oldest message written in light, a frozen memory of creation itself. Yet even this is not the final boundary. Beyond it are galaxies so distant that their light may never reach us. The universe is expanding faster than light itself can cross. Those unreachable realms are sealed beyond our cosmic horizon, forever hidden. Some cosmologists suggest the total universe is at least 250 times larger than what we can observe. Others believe it may be truly infinite. Either way, the message is humbling. We live on a tiny island in an endless ocean of stars. Our world, so familiar and intimate, is in reality humanity's place and the future of exploration and yet, on this fragile planet, something extraordinary has happened. The universe, through us, has become conscious of itself. Atoms forged in the hearts of ancient stars assembled into molecules, into living cells, into beings capable of asking, where did we come from? Why are we here? What else is out there? This realization carries profound weight. Our existence may be improbable, but it is not insignificant. We are not outsiders to the universe. We are part of its story. Every cell in our body carries the memory of stars. Every heartbeat echoes across billions of years of evolution. Every question we ask is a spark from the original fire of creation. We are the universe asking questions of itself. This truth humbles us, reminding us of life's fragility. But it also awakens a deeper strength. Curiosity is our superpower. It drives us to search for answers, to explore black holes, to decode the atmospheres of exoplanets, to map the faint whispers of the cosmic background. Even if the stars are distant, we remain forever connected to them. And so we stand at the threshold of a new cosmic era. With instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, our vision is no longer blurred. We can now see the first galaxies, formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We can analyze the atmospheres of planets orbiting distant suns. We can search for biosignatures, water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and other molecules once thought unique to Earth, now discovered light years away. But with every answer, new questions emerge. Why is the universe expanding faster than our models predict? What is the mysterious dark energy driving this acceleration? What unseen matter holds galaxies together, defying all attempts at direct detection? And perhaps the most haunting question of all, where is everyone? If life is a natural outcome of the cosmos, then why does the night sky remain so silent? Is there truly no one else out there? Or are we too early, or too late? To hear their voices. These mysteries are not just scientific curiosities. They are existential frontiers. And as we venture outward into the universe, we must also turn inward. The same technologies that allow us to peer across space confront us with challenges here at home, climate change, resource scarcity, and the question of whether we can evolve fast enough, not just technologically but ethically, to survive our own intelligence. The universe will not wait for us. Stars will burn out. Galaxies will drift apart. Black holes will fade away into silence. Time moves forward, indifferent to our choices. We have a window, and it is open now. We can remain divided, fearful, and short-sighted. Or we can rise together with unity, curiosity, and vision. The next era of exploration will not be defined only by rockets or telescopes. It will be defined by how we choose to see ourselves. Are we fragile creatures, lost in cosmic chaos? Or are we the seeds of consciousness meant to blossom among the stars? The story of the cosmos is still unwritten. And though we are small, it begins with us, right here, right now, on this pale blue dot in a vast silent sea. With courage in our hearts, curiosity in our minds, and starlight in our bones, we step forward into the next